Hello everyone, it's me Ann Aldis back with another video and today we're going to finally be talking about the full, my full thoughts, movie review of the Knuckle series. We'll admit this took a little longer than I wanted it to because honestly I just kept going back and forth with my actual thoughts of the series because on one hand I could absolutely laugh and love for the wacky and zany and far out concept that this series ended up being, but then also hated for how weird and crazy it is and what he actually could have been and probably what he should have been and how much potential was missed in a lot of parts. So my overall thought is um, I do like the show. I think it's really fun. I think it's really at times funny. I do like the, the CGI is surprisingly really consistently amazing throughout the series and i do like the ideas that they present in this show i want to emphasize i like the ideas but there are some ideas that i think that were lacking or they didn't really fully commit to as much as i w would have liked so the biggest issue of the show is that after the first two episodes there is a big drop in like it like turns into a different show like the show presents itself in the beginning that it's going to be knuckles training weight and then it kind of shifts over to them i don't know some weird family drama of wade and then a whole episode four which is all wade central it's like a very it's like a very episode about wade that turns into this like funky musical and then it goes into them in Reno with his meeting his estranged father and this bowling tournament. And it's like, like I said, after episode two, I will say that's when the show start, starts to like drop. Like half of the episodes I like and then half of the episodes I could live without. Then it was the interesting part is like everyone was like debating episode four was good, but I hate it episode three because it's just this weird dinner and it's this five ten minute scene of just wade and his mother and his sister pretty much arguing because wade's sister is like the worst sonic character ever she is so fucking annoying her character is literally just i'm an fbi so i'm better than you and she's like overly abusive she stabs wade with in the shoulder with a fork for like no reason and no one really does anything not even the mother and she's like kind of all right she's just more like enables his sister's um attitude i guess and it's just like i didn't really want to watch this i just want to go back to when he was fighting the agents because that was the thing episode two was actually really f i think it was one of my I th actually no, i think episode one was my favorite but episode two was also like another favorite of mine because there's like this funny scene where like wade is envisioning himself like saving knuckles and it's like going back and forth to his planning and the reality over the fantasy and it's actually done very well like that is like the part i those are the moments i really like and once again the cgi moments where with knuckles and him actually fighting i actually love those moments the two agents i actually don't mind their characters if anything i wish we had more moments with them and they were more of the focus villains than wade's family like i don't know why we had to bring wade's family into this because you could have followed the same plot of knuckles training wade for this tournament without having the family members and still being able to have those moments with the agents but also having the comedic moments with wade and then i, I don't want to say the main villain because he's not really in the show but the buyer which is like the end you know the end boss uh, villain that they run into at the end and he is just boring they don't do nothing with him he's just there mentions like his off-screen origins with dr robotnik and then they fight him at the end with no real build-up with no real payoff he's just there i don't know what his purpose exactly was or i don't know but i kind of just once again i just wish we got more of them than the family because if we had more moments with the villains like if you took away the, the parts with his family and then just added more moments with the agent and the buyers i think the show would have been a lot more solid like if the show followed the tone of the first two episodes it would have been a lot better and i think that is my biggest 
downfall, my biggest thing about the show is that it, and sometimes like people say it turns into the Wade show, but it turns to more like the Wade family show because it's like focus on this family. Like I don't really care about his father or his mother and I especially don't care about his sister. It's like I'm willing to put up with a potential plot with Wade and you know as him being the apprentice but to completely focus on his family that just wasn't my idea of what I thought the show would be because I do think Knuckles and Wade um, have a really fun dynamic especially with um, Knuckles trying to learn more about Earth and then Wade learning more how to become you know to fight for himself and I will say about I will say something I did like about that is that usually when like characters are like the weak and then they grow like at the way in they're all of a sudden are like fucking superman and they are able to fight easily i'm glad they didn't do that way like has a moment of strength but he's not like totally independent now and still does need help from knuckles at the end i will say i like that i like that they stayed true to that that you know you know once you fight overcome the fears there's still a lot more to learn and i i will i will, I will say i like that the knuckles showed that the knuckles series did that but personally for me i think the biggest downfall is that all the good moments are with knuckles and wade but the second that his family gets into the picture and we focus more with the family that's when things get boring that's when things get stagnant that's when things fall apart for me or when i'm getting bored or rolling my eyes or cringing I mean, I know some people like those moments, but I was not a big fan of it. I rather had just focus more on Knuckles and Wade. And I think it took away from the agents too, because I think it's funny because I don't know why shows and movies like this, live actions, feel the need to dumb down their humans or make them so annoying or bland because characters like Maddie and, like I said, the agents are actually pretty fun to watch. Um, Especially the male agent, you can tell that he was just having a blast, you know, every time he was filming. You can just tell that he just absolutely loved his role, and I actually would not mind seeing these two agents again. I think they have a nice dynamic with each other that works well with the comedic tone, but doesn't overpower it, but also feels normal. Like, these are, like, real people. But, so, yeah. So it shows that they can do it. So I don't know why, when it came to Wade's family, they wanted them to be overly annoying, I guess. Also, the mother compares Knuckles to being a Jew. Like, that would be the second time in this franchise they did that. I don't, I just, that's kind of weird. I don't know how to feel about that. That was just kind of weird, but I guess she's not entirely wrong. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> I think personally for me, the better route for the show would have been take away the side plot of Wade's family and then just add more moments of them training, whether that be in a bowling alley or actually him trying to make Wade stronger and then maybe having a one or two more moments with the agents and then the buyer. I think personally for that, personally, I think that would have been a much better uh, route or I don't know, I don't know, like... I don't want to say too much without getting with like without going into spoilers but like i get what they were trying to do but i just i think it was like too much too much episode four though was like a trip it felt like a fucking trip with the music it literally is a musical and half of the episode is just the, um wade's friend or ex-friend who's also a bounty hunter just dressed up as in a costume of long claws and just performing this whole musical scene about knuckles it's i mean it's a good music like setup i think it was really clever and creative how they did that but also it, it felt like i was in a tr like like high like just like high on some weed or something because it did not feel like this should have been in a knuckle series or just sonic in general it, it just felt so off-putting but it was fun to watch I, I i will say that so like i said it's an interesting it's interesting what the series ended up doing um like like i said i can like it for what it is but also like i hate what it could have been like and i i do wonder like if a lot of the choices made was because the knuckle series i believe actually did get delayed 
by a year because of the strike and Jeff Flower was directing who directed the first episode and I wonder if he was supposed to direct the entire show but then had to back out so they wouldn't have to delay the third movie instead I do wonder that I could be wrong but I do wonder if that's why he didn't direct the knuckle series entirely because if he did I think the show would have also been a lot better too but uh once again it's not terrible like I know people say it's doubt like Sonic Twitter was saying it was like the worst Sonic media ever you know like they did with Sonic Prime and Sonic Superstar and you know ev everything else but it's not it's not it's not it's not it's fine it's not like amazing or great but it's not downright garbage either if you like the weird moments of the movie verse when it came to like the dance off with sonic and tails or the wedding scene in movie two like if you if you like those moments then you're, you're gonna like the show if you like you know if you want something much more not to take seriously which i think is why i wasn't too disappointed on the show is because i went in not you know not expecting it to be so serious and not taking it so seriously i think you can actually enjoy the show uh i know i've been all over the place but there is just a lot to say about this show on what it did but i don't want to go into too much because of spoilers and i do think that this is a show that i can't fully like it's weird because i wouldn't say i would recommend it but i wouldn't say i won't recommend it because it's a mix it, it goes like this you're either gonna like it you're either gonna love it or you're going to hate it there isn't really an in between i guess personally i don't mind it like literally after i re i finished the series i actually went back and rewatched the first few episodes again because i actually did enjoy it so not the worst not the best it's definitely the weakest link of the movie verse but you know i say give it a try form your own opinions and you i mean and you might like it you might not but personally it's not a show meant to be taken seriously and i can respect that because clearly this was meant to be something more fun more laid back and personally movie knuckles is my favorite version of knuckles so it was just nice to see him again on the big screen so i'm gonna give the knuckle series a six out of ten you know like i said it's not garbage it's not downright garbage but it's not also like it's not better than movie one or two it's just fun it's supposed to be crazy you're not supposed to take it seriously you're not supposed to put too much thought into it you're just supposed to watch it and let your mind go and that's about it so for that it's fun i i like it it's a, it's a fun show and I could actually see myself putting it on in the background when I edit videos, so yeah. But anyways, with that being said, leave a like, subscribe if you haven't already. I post and stream as often as I can. Did you watch the Knuckle series? Did you like it? Do you think the show is being overhyped? Do you think the show is being overhated? You know, because I mean, I know the show has actually been quite successful with the reception and streaming wise, it was very successful. Do you think it deserves that success or do you think that the show is a waste of time and people should just move on with it? Let me know. And as always, till next time, bye bye